When customer makes an order, we inform him when he will receive the shipment. Delivery performance indicators are calculated based on shipment date in combination with one of the following dates. These dates are all standard NAF fields in the sales area. After the shipment is complete we analyze delivery performance. On time? Already late? How many days late? Delivery performance answers all of your questions. Delivery performance is a part of a sales cube. There is a great deal of KPIs to use. Average day is late. Late lines in percentage. Late quantity in percentage. Late amount in percentage. Amount late. Amount late in additional currency. And the same selection of on-time delivery KPIs. By customer. We can also monitor delivery performance by item category over years. In this table we see KPIs based on promised delivery date. We monitor this measures by time, by months. As we see in the beginning of January 2014, we were 5.1 day late in average. We improved our trend. In July 2015, as we were in average 4 days late. We could select any other dimension by changing slices. We selected year and item category group for our analysis. We can also visualize our data by creating a dashboard. Starting with average days late where we see that trend is falling. Which is good. We are reducing delay. On this graph we see the proportion of how many items were shipped in time in comparison with how many items were shipped with delay. Furthermore we can see two trend lines. One from percentage of on time amount, and other from percentage on time quantity. On the last graph we see the trend of late quantity in percentage.